Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Kogan Meets. Today we have in the house a responsible, <laughs> a man of integrity, a lovely comedian, an ex housemate of Big Brother Ninja D1. Hello. Hi. That thing always pay me when people say ex housemate, but Aww. I think that's the reality. It's really painful. I'm, 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 I'm fine. You're, you're good looking. Though. Oh, thank you, you very much. You look fine in real life. Though. That's what most people have been saying. They said I didn't look good for on, on TV. That's why I was. Is it that they were not feeding you well? Or? Well, I think it was just, um, you know, obviously when you're at home now, you just have to like be yourself and stuff. This is, this is not the way you are at home now. So. Ah, uh, yeah. I which one is that one? Like you won't have all the makeup and proper I'm hair. And... Fine now. Oh, okay. It's no news that you're a very funny man, but people take your jokes like most people the only thing that you joke is um overboard no no not overboard below the belt they say that um they see as you they see you as being a bully that you crack <laughs> bully jokes and you are you're, you're rude okay so what would you say about that i mean what's your we have we have different comedians are plenty and then you know there's a comedian in the u.s chris rock it's just like that I think he recently dissed Justin Bieber, or I can't really remember now. But people are saying he should apologize. Like, no, that's a joke. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, not everybody will be nice to you. Mm -hmm. Not every of your friends will say, ah, you are looking good. And some one person will say, ah, why this thing can't be like saying that? Like, do you get what I'm saying? So I think people should just get used to the fact that everything is coming from a funny point of view. Okay, your 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 self control could not be overlooked. I mean, how were yeah. you able to cope? You see, I'm going to even write a book on self control. <laughs> um, I think basically it's about what you're made up of. Do you get what I'm saying? It wasn't about uh, me being married. It was just about me saying, you know what? Let me focus on what why I'm here. Do you get no distraction whatsoever? That was it basically. It was just it was just focus. Focus creates blindness. So if you're focused on this thing, you might not see something here. So it was just focused, basically. I, I didn't see all those things as, okay, as this was important. Do you get my point? So I would like to know, when um, there was a time your pictures, I mean your marriage pictures hit the internet, how were you able to keep this from the public? <laughs> Obviously, we didn't we did try enough. But um, someone sold the pictures. Sold. Yeah, sold. Sold the information for money. That was what I gathered in the end. Oh, but I, I think, I think now people now understand that it wasn't really about hiding. It was just about protecting, you know, my marriage. I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of publicizing my wife when she's not even into, into entertainment. You get what I'm saying? So she's doing her own stuff. I'm doing my own stuff. She doesn't invite. I don't go to her office to say, hey, you get what I'm saying? And then. I don't expect the same thing too. So, yeah, we tried to keep it, you know, discreet, but obviously it came out and um, no hard feelings. So, what are your plans now that you're out of the house? Um, working on a show. I don't know what the date will be like, but I know the name already. The name we. We intend to use my team and I. We're using um, D1 Evicted. It's going to be a blast. It's not that kind of show that you you see normally. I'm going to be on stage for one hour thirty minutes. Be the judge if I'm funny or not. I'm I, I'm sure I'm going to be your favorite comedian that day. Just come. You know, it's, it's not going to be regular. It's not going to be game as usual. It's going to be a proper one man stand up comedy show. Right. Me going all out, getting more friends, more fans. You know, it's just going to be lit. Trust me. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Working towards that show but i'll let you guys know the date all right i hope i'm invited definitely once the, the way the show works is once you pay for the ticket you get the invite oh it's not free yeah you want to give out your, your whatsapp in case my whatsapp uh they'll just dm me or send me an email talk about whatsapp but i have a website i mean if you google me up you will see my website d1 tv you guys can just check the latest stuff my tours happening inside and outside nigeria <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was so, ah! it was so
so nice meeting you. Same here, darling. We hope to hear more from you. Yeah. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview with D1 as much as I did. To know more about our platform, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on our YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our page on Facebook. Till next time, guys, it's your girl DGA. I love you and stay blessed. I love you too! Yeah!